Hello there, and welcome back to Fatal Hearts. Last time we started this key puzzle, and I kind of think I've lost track of where this is supposed to be. But I might be able to figure it out somehow. I hope this is right. I think this is right. If it's right, uh, the next pin will move, but if it's wrong, it'll say that it's locked like it said in the last video. So, let's see. It moves up twice, I think. This moves down once. This moves down once, I think. This moves up once. This moves down twice, I think. This moves up once. This one moves up once. This one moves up once. And this one moves up once. Okay, so I'm slowly getting there. Slowly but surely. Um, all of these might have to be moved down all the way down here. Kind of looks like it, except for maybe these two. And I'm pretty- I'm glad that I can figure out the top first instead of- I'm not even sure if the bottom will move. Nope, it won't. Okay. Okay, so the bottom doesn't move, it's just the top ones that do. Because this is- the bottom is smooth. Smooth. Let's see. Up. I think it needs to go up again. And this one needs to go up twice. And this one needs to go down once. And this one needs to go... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna fast forward because I'm pretty sure this is gonna take a long time. You hear a small click inside, it's unlocked. That took a while. Carefully, quietly, I turn the handle and open the door. I was right, it's a kitchen. A strange old kitchen full of giant ovens and hanging metal pans. But there's someone here, picking through the drawers. Lucy? What? Christina? What are you doing here? It's you, isn't it? What's me? You're the bride, the stupid girl everyone's been looking for. They thought it would be me, but it was you all along. Everyone thought... Lucy, why are you here? How slow are you? This is my parents' world. The money, the power, the antiques, it's all because they signed on with a vampire! I don't understand. 
Don't make those big eyes at me. I can't believe you. First you were all over Jeremy, and then you dumped him to hang with Bastion? Do you need a new boyfriend every day, or do you just pick whoever offers you the most money? That's not what happened. Mm. I think I might go with Bastion and I have a hist- You know what? Nope. I'm gonna- I'm gonna save it just to make sure it doesn't end in death. Sebastian was just a fantasy I made up. Just a story. All this time he's been in my dreams. I never expected to meet him. So it's all true then. The great eternal love story divided by tragedy? What do you know about it? What my parents told me. This whole cult's been waiting for years for the bride to be reborn so their vampire master could reward them. And since my parents were such loyal followers and they had a daughter at the right age, they thought it would be me. They kept all they kept it all a big secret until they finally brought me to meet Bastion and then oops, not the bride after all. So that's what Jeremy meant. You were disappointed. Ha! You think he's all that, don't you? No, I told you before, Bastion's nice, but I wasn't interested. And I had no idea why it was such a big deal. My parents have, had never told me anything about magic and vampires. They didn't want to coach me to protect- into pretending- They didn't want to coach me into pretending to be anything. They really believed I was the chosen girl. I only found out after... after it was all over. Why did they wait so long to introduce you? You still don't know much about what's going on. Bastion's been asleep for 50 years, waiting for the time when his little girlfriend would be ready for him. That's why all those women died. A blood sacrifice to wake the vampire at the, at the appointed time. You killed people? Don't look at me! Blame your boyfriend! Jeremy and my parents and their friends. This is their religion. They wear robes and chant in German and do blood magic. I blink, startled. Magic? Yes, Virginia, there is really a Santa- Yes, Virginia, there really is a Santa Claus, and magic is real. Want me to show you? You don't have to. I trace Fackle in the air, producing the usual burst of sparkles. Jeremy taught me, but that doesn't have anything to do with blood, does it? He didn't teach you enough. With magic, there's always a price. I hear the distant, a distant clanking underfoot. Ah, I wish they hadn't left us here alone with him. Who? What? When the Wolfrey men attacked, we caught one of them. He's locked up in the basement. Who are they? They're some kind of werewolves. I don't know. They hate us. Why? Lucy just shakes her head. What I don't understand is why they're still around. Mom talked about how important it is to make sacrifices and be willing to get your hands dirty. So why do we, so why do we still have these dangerous enemies? still around but how would they get how would they get rid of them does she mean you want to kill them i said i don't know why they haven't done it not that i want uh, i said i don't know why they haven't done it not that i want to do it maybe you've got the wrong idea your family can't really kill people just because they don't like them and what is up with her legs if you if you look um like at her legs where the chat is? They're awfully pale. Like, like they weren't even colored in almost, but I don't know. Oh, and why 
not? They'd be arrested. No, they wouldn't. We have cops in the cult too. We can control everything. I think your parents were exaggerating. They killed these women. They killed those women, like the one you found. How do you know? Because they told me? I've seen the robes, I've seen the knives, I've seen the coffin Bastion slept in before they bathed him in blood. But she didn't actually see it happen, and Bastion and and Bastion said that no one had to die to feed him. I hear a distant rumbling. Lucy looks around nervously. Wait, she said we're here alone? Explore the house. If this is really some cult's headquarters, there must be all kinds of secrets hidden here. I point at the big metal door with its keypad, which looks completely out of place in this old fashioned kitchen. What's in there? That goes down to the basement where the wolf is. You don't want to go down there. I guess not. Well, where else can we go? We walk out into the main lobby with its grand staircase. So many antiques. My parents bought them. They set this they set this whole place up. Why? What for? To make a nice house ready for Bastion when he woke. We head up we head up the stairs to a hallway lined with doors. One of them I know leads to the bedroom I woke up in. Opening another door reveals a private study. The walls are lined with books, pictures, miniature ships, and glass bottles. Everything is solid, expensive, antique, like the bedroom and the dining room. It doesn't seem like a mysterious cult headquarters, it's just a nice house. Except for that door in the kitchen. Lucy, what's in the basement? Um, well, a basement? That's not an answer! Why do you need a special door to protect it? I don't need any- I don't need any door! It's not my fault my parents are crazy! Computers, and cages, and the ritual chamber, that's what's down there. I want to see. No, you don't! I'm not supposed to, but I guess I'll take you down there tonight anyway. Lucy leads me back downstairs to the kitchen where she keys a code into the metal into a metal door, revealing a dark, narrow stairwell. There's only room to go down one at a time, and her head and her head in front of me blocks any trace of light from beneath. My hands scrape against the rough, the rough walls. I don't know what I'm expecting. The smell of mildew, the violent hum of dangerous machinery. There are an awful lot of wires and computers in here. I wonder what they all connect to. I don't see what Lucy was so nervous about. Um, should I even try? Try. I'll um, post it up. I'll, I'll post up the Google Translate translation later. Or er, while well, I'm edit editing. What was that? Who is that? It's the dude with the mustache. There's a large utility closet off to one side of the office space, filled with garbage and metal dog cages. Crammed into one of them, bent over and battered, is a young man. We should go back up. But he's hurt. I step closer, spreading my hands. Hello? Can you understand me? He spits at my feet. Ich werde ein, einen... Ich, ich werde einen nicht verraten? Verraten? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Do you speak English? English? 
I smile at him reassuringly. I'm not going to hurt you. You are a stain to be wiped away. He throws himself at the bar, snarling and, re and reaching for me. I jump back. Lucy grabs a metal bar from the, garage, from the garbage around the closet and waves it at him menacingly. Leave her alone! Um, I feel like I stop her. I feel like I, I feel like if I stop her, it won't end well for me. Um, whoops. I was scrolling the wrong way. So I'm gonna let her get him. She's in the metal rod hard against the bars of the cage, making it rattle. Take that, Wolverine! Not so tough now, huh? He sticks his hand through the bars and catches the rod as she swings it, holding it still and growls. Ah, Christina, help! Together we manage to pull it out of his grasp. We hurry away from the cage in his mocking laughter. You shouldn't have done that. He wants you dead. You especially. Because that's the best way for them to destroy Bastion. I shouldn't have brought you down here. No, you shouldn't. Lucy, get upstairs. Your parents are waiting. She looks at me, then hurries away. Jeremy walks over to me, puts his hand on my shoulders. Hands, his hands on my shoulders, his palms are feverishly warm against my bare skin. Are you alright? What? He jerks his head toward the closet of cages. Did he hurt you? How can he? He's locked up like an animal. He is an animal. What's going to happen to him? He is an an- he hit- yeah. He is an enemy. You don't remember yet, do you? The Wolfrey men come from the old country. For them, Bastion is a symbol of the aristoc aristocracy. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's aristocracy. They have to destroy him to prove that violence and the passion of the common animal are stronger than art, education, and planning. I hear the captive slam. I hear the, the captive slamming against the bars of his cage. Abomination! Jeremy, Jeremy releases my shoulders and gestures down a different hallway, deeper into the basement. We can't talk here. Follow me. And I obey. I always obey. The tidy, the tidy flooring of the basement office gives way to rough stone. Turning a corner, I am faced with a vision out of my nightmare, nightmares. What? What is this place? This is the ritual chamber. This is where Bastion slept for 50 years and spoke to us in his dreams. This is where we woke him with the sacrifice of blood. All those women that went missing, you killed them. They were the price we had to pay to revive our master. My stomach turns a slow flip. I'm afraid to let my eyes leave his face. They never even understood what was happening to them. And I think it's time for me to pause here because it's gone on for over half an hour. So I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed. See you soon.